So a lot of you have been asking me what shades of concealer and foundation I use. Maybe because you're of the same skin tone as I am. So I thought maybe I should show you uh, in depth some of the concealers and foundations that I use. So some of the videos that I'm going to make are going to be uh, in-depth product review kind of uh, videos. Although I already made a video about the f concealers which I use. So you can have a look here yeah but these are going to be like tailed i hope it helps you and let's start i know i look a bit plumpy because i just ate so whenever i just eat it shows on my face okay so i already applied foundation it is this one maybelline fit me in the shade 330 trophy powder and uh, i applied some compact kind of oxidized because I opened new pack and uh, yeah if you want to know about that then I already made a video you can check it so yeah the product today I'm going to talk about is this Maybelline instant age rewind in the shade caramel this is my uh, second or third container it's basically a multi-use it's they say this is the last shade so basically is the darkest shade available and like you can see it is just not dark if look at my skin and look at this is it dark no right i usually like to wear concealers that are very close to my skin tone not too light and uh, not too dark but this one since it's light i mostly use it for a highlighting purpose like you know under my eyes or my nose eyebrows things like that but never on this part because when I take pictures it flash back happens and it looks white so I'm going to show you how this caramel is I think there are a lot of shades available outside of India but it's not available I'm waiting because this one is really good I mean it may be a little drying and matte but I'm going to show you it comes like this with a sponge you'll have to turn it like this for the product to come out and then you can apply like you can see i don't know if you can see in the camera but i do have dark circles and pigmentation here and all over my mouth so i'm going to show you here since i've already applied foundation it's not to be seen that much oops lots so i take a concealer brush i'm taking this one from pack to one nine and gently blending it can you see how it has brightened up this whole part see the difference i try not to bring the product too on down just try to blend it there itself maybe take it the side of my nose A little bit on my eyelids now you can see this this part right where your socket eye socket ends here that is exactly where you have your under eyes dark circles so I'm gonna try and conceal that part only so I'm just gonna take a little I'm just using little product so don't expect a full you know real instagram look with lots of product and beauty blender and all that can't it looks very cakey and too much of product so that's all i'm not going to go beyond this part right now can you see these pigmentation here so i'm going to try and conceal that one also maybe i'll use a smaller brush and then here pretty much concealed everything 
on this part so like you can see it's pretty uh, drying like matte so if you're oily skin then this will be really good but if you're dry skin then tough that's how I conceal my under eyes and use this only for the under eyes uh, for my pigmentation around my mouth I'm using the pack take one concealer in the shade um, twisted coffee yeah you see the difference this one is a bit orange undertone so that's why I don't put you know the yellow bright one around my mouth I will do a review on this uh, sometime later don't worry but I just wanted to show you the difference of why I don't apply the age rewind around my mouth that is it I hope you like this video if you like it please subscribe and share it with your friends and follow my Instagram account here somewhere and I'll see you in my next bye